YouTube, Jack Silver here with some brand new two ounce bars. What could we possibly have in store? But I'm gonna try a brand new method here and not only see if we can't fill this up, but then after I fill it up, put that on it. Let's see what happens. Let's see what this does. We're gonna let it cool. Get our next batch of silver in there. And we're gonna pour three of these today and see how they come out. The thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this off. I heated that up before I used it to make sure we didn't shock it. And a little bit of the result there that I wasn't sure was gonna happen. Some of the silver's over here and not over here. So we didn't get the whole mold. I did pour two ounces in there, so I thought two ounces would be enough for these bars, but evidently it's not. I think I'm gonna go two and a half for the next one. Let's just do two and a half to be safe see how much better how much of a difference it makes it should be melted let's see if we can't fill up the entire bar this time i'm not going to worry so much about the second method i'm not too crazy about how the first one really turned out uh kind of want to try it again but on the other hand i really just want to see how this two and a half ounces fills up this bar Stir it up there. A little better, a little better. Just a little bit of a adjustment there at the end. And that does look nice and full. I'm gonna set that aside. I think two and a half ounces is the way to go. I'm gonna try two and a half ounces one more time, and this time I'm gonna try to be a little bit quicker. We got the borax in there, it separated the impurities, so that's very, very nice. That works very good. So we'll be able to knock all that off and clean that off. And make sure our piece of silver is pure and clean. Okay, so I got two and a half ounces this time again I'll see what my thinking was I could put the piece of graphite on there flatten the other side of the bar but I did it and maybe it's just because this bar wasn't full enough but um, I didn't really like the way the I don't know I will have to try that again. I think for now though, since this is the first time with these bars, I just want to pour a really nice bar. I do like the natural look. Um, but I thought I would just kind of go for something a little bit different and see if we could achieve a flat back with that graphite on the back. It may be possible. It may be. Oops, that's coming apart. All right, so I made these a little more disposable where I'm using a little bit of Petra Bond to make the mold and then the back is sand to pack it. So, just something I'm doing to see if I can make the Petra Bond last a little longer. I'm not happy with the sand that I'm making. Okay, so let's get this done. Enough talk, we need some action. Yes, we got it. Right there at the end. Just in time. Just in time. All right, so let's go ahead and not touch that. That would be smart. So let's look at the first one that didn't quite fill all the way. I 
seem to be challenged on my first pours, but that definitely is going to be a redo. But man, look how flat the bar came out. That must have been from putting the graphite on it and flattening it. Let's see what this one looks like. This was our first one that came out nice and full. Oh, yeah. Speak no evil. See no evil. Hear no evil. This is my first monkey bar. Hope you like it. Let's see how this next one came out. Not too bad, not too bad. I'm, I kind of like to maybe had them a little more centered on the bar. Uh, but maybe it gives me some room to be creative on the on the sides. Can't wait to see how these shine up. And who knows what we're gonna do with these. Thanks again for watching Jack Silver Fours. Always something fun, always something new. Working our way to a thousand followers on Instagram for a two ounce giveaway follow my instagram to find out how to get in that exclusive gall thanks again for watching hope you will like subscribe and share appreciate you watching have a great day Right